Hey everybody, Cypherboy here. Today I am doing a new game called Dead Age. I'm pretty sure I had not done this game yet on the channel, but um, I'm going to. These are all locked, so locked. So I'll do the student right now. I'll keep the name as Jack though. So let's begin. It seemed harmless at first. Scattered individuals were reporting gaps in memory, followed later by exorbitant highs of adrenaline. Scientists were baffled and were unable to find an effective treatment. <laughs> the zombie infestation spread quickly. The outbreak raged across the country and plunged the entire American continent into chaos. Governments and science failed to contain it. Now, all that matters is fighting to survive. <clears throat> you let your tired gaze wander along the horizon. It is lined with scattered plumes of smoke in the distance. You strain to digest the events of the last few hours. Lily, are you there? Are you alright? You look around frantically, but there is no sign of your sister. Not much time could have passed since the accident. You were thrown from your car and lost consciousness at the side of the road. I have to find her. She can't be far. The country road is littered with empty cars. No sign of any people until you spot two, figure, two steel figures in one of the more distant cars. Lily? Hello? No, not again. A grisly figure is approaching you. You haven't seen its kind too often in just the last few hours. In the rampant chaos of people screaming and climbing over each other, you saw several of them amidst the confusion. The horrific vagrant lopes slowly and with little coordination. Your adrenaline and thoughts race. Feeling the onset of panic, you tear out your backpack to open it. Okay, so equip the club. Let's do that. Equip. The undead figure approaches slowly. You hear a deep gurgle. Just a few hours ago, you watched one of these creatures tear your brother apart. Not even a minute later, your brother opened his eyes. He had changed into one of these things. Time to fight. It was this very same club you used to ward off that what your brother had become. Remnants of flesh and blood still marks the spot where you caved his head in. So, time to do sidearm. Die, you monster. You barely fight the pain to remain standing. Every weapon offers a range of uses once equipped. Cleaning desperately to consciousness, you raise your gun to point it at your rotting opponent. You think your lucky stars when your gunshots kill the zombie. Each shot requires ammunition, of which you don't have much. At least you found something of use on the defeated creature. The shot fired has attracted other undead. They seem to sense your warm blood and flesh. They drag themselves groaning towards you. You have just enough time to prepare your equipment. You open your pack. 
The base bug stained undershirt offers minimal protection from damage your attackers may cause. The undead have reached you. Weakened with only a few bullets remaining, you resolve to defend yourself to the last. Stranger radiates an intercom. The sheriff's uniform gives you the hope of having found an ally in this apocalypse. You should come with me. I could use another good man. Thank you, but I... I'm looking for my sister. She disappeared. Are you sure she's alive? The last few hours have been more, seen more death than any other event in history. She has to be. She's tough. I lost consciousness and just woke up. No sign of her. Well, there's no driving on this road with all the abandoned cars blocking it. I'll walk along the road with you and help you look. Take some ammo and a bad kid. By the way, what are you, what's your name, boy? The boy isn't far off, you think to yourself, as you open your pack. Being a student hasn't really provided you with the experience to help you navigate this mess. You're aware of it. Aware that you are neither properly equipped nor ready to face the apocalypse. My name is Jack. Where are we going anyway? We've got a camp not far from here. You can rest up and get your bearings, Jack. You decide to use your new bed kit. Your medical medical inventory is limited, meaning you can only carry a fin finite amount of med kits and syringes. Just telling you about the inventory a little bit more. Okay, let's see. Oh, there we go. No? Okay. There we go. That's good. Now it's time to attack. Your opponent is an undead nurse. You must know your foe before it can be killed efficiently. You can find out more about an enemy by selecting its name. This one, I think you can, or it can, uh, kill the other ones. Stronger. This will be a good time to assess your skills. You select your skill menu. Survivor may choose from a variety of skills. You have been awarded skill points which can be used to improve your combat job skills. You choose a skill that appeals to you and leave the menu. So, how many skill points there? Okay. Let's do 
Here are those, and let's see. Skill Medic. Toboggan. We find a clay. The lid seems to be connected to something inside by a wire of some sort. Uh, is it a bomb, maybe? Try to open. Let's have the sheriff do it. The sheriff approaches the crate for a closer inspection. Listen, this is what I did it. Take that. Jack, keep an eye out on that money. It's worth nothing anymore. Materials are their new currency. Use them to trade when dealing with the merchant. We leave the highway and start checking through the woods. Luckily, the undead are few and hard to part. When one appears, the sheriff makes quick work of the will from the shotgun blast. Hanging in there, we'll be there soon. Still no sign of my sister. Where can she be? If luck she is with the survivors that set up nearby, she might also have found her. Our camp, you can rest there. We're here, look out. The gunfire on the way here must have drawn a horde. When a horde appears, you sometimes have to face several waves of undead. These encounters are more challenging, but the rewards in weapons, ammunition, and other gear are greater. Camp evasion. Protect the camp, don't let them through the gates. How are we supposed to do that? There are so many. You're lucky I spotted you and your undead friends here. How do you like this plate, gentlemen? Trish, good timing. Go ahead, Jack. Awaiting your instructions. What, mine? Trish has a new few advanced skills, but to use something as strong as her burning body, we need two action points. Action points are generated every round. Okay. Complex skills require more one or more APs to use. Let's manic combat readiness. Trish. Let her do her thing and attack the bidden pedestrian. He's already had damage. Okay, she can use the burning body skill. No, it can't be. With shock, you behold your enemy. Under the long and tangled hair lies the blood-soaked face of your sister. Her eyes blank and hungry. She didn't make it. That's her. What's wrong with him? He just found out he lost his sister. Lily. Uh, attack. Let's do the side ones first. Get rid of them. Don't lose focus. That isn't your sister anymore. You know that. You never get used to that. Everything goes dark. Here is consciousness in this state. You are unable to react. Luckily, Trish can ease your pain with the skill for a state. The skill can only be used if you have a medical solution. Okay, medic, first aid, Jack. 